Hey, it's Aurelius. In this video, you're going to learn 10 powerful Canva tips every user should know. Here's the first tip. Let's say you loaded up one of the templates that Canva provides. In this instance, we've got a presentation. I selected this one. We've got the color scheme. We've got all the font choices and combinations all prepared for us. But let's say you like the color scheme of a different theme such as this one right here. You can easily click on any of those and if you scroll down below you can see the actual template style. Click that once that'll apply it to the current slide that you're looking at but otherwise if you want to apply it to all of the slides and pages simply hit apply style to all pages and voila, each and every slide is using the exact style as shown right here. This applies to anything that you design in Canva. Here's an Instagram carousel with multiple pages. Let's say you like this color scheme instead. Again, scroll down, click once, and then apply style to all pages, and there we go. This next Canva tip was much requested by many users, and it's the ability to be able to draw but now you can do it in Canva. Here's a vector graphic I've got, and now I wanna draw and illustrate what this is about. Simply go to more, you need to first enable the draw app. So click that once, and now you can see it on the left navigation. Select between a pen marker, glow pen, or highlighter. Let's start off with a pen, select our color, choose the size of your pen, let's say 20, and now you can start drawing. So from here, we can start drawing some arrows, wherever you want. And while we're at it, let's draw a smiley face right here. Want something a bit more trendy? Go for the glow pen. Click on glow pen, select the size, select the color, and start drawing with your glow pen. Moving on, this next tip is going to help you tidy up and position all your elements and text so that everything is nice and clean. In this example, let's say you want to position this paragraph text to the middle and center of this square right here. Simply select both then go to position, then we can select middle, then center. So now it's in the middle and center of this specific element rather than the actual canvas. Same thing if you want to position it to the top left, there we go. Another scenario may be you've got a bunch of text, a bunch of images and elements on your design and you want to tidy things up. Simply select the elements and the text that you want to tidy up, then go to position and simply click on tidy up. And there you have it. Even if you move things around, let's say around here and this goes around here, you can select it again, then go to position and tidy up. Another useful and powerful feature of Canva is its built-in chart maker. If you go to elements, head down to charts. You can select from a number of different charts such as these. In this chart here, I'm showing the percentage of active users for each of these social media platforms. These aren't facts, I just made them up, but what you can do is input the percentage on the left, as you can see, and the value such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. Enter those in, let's say Facebook's 20%, and YouTube's 10% only, that'll reflect directly in real time on the chart. To make your own chart, head to elements, go to charts, and then select a chart. Let's say we are going to choose this pie chart. Enter your items and your figures. You can go to settings and swap between percentages and numbers. You can even change the color scheme of your chart by clicking on the chart, then to the color option, then selecting any color you want. Next up, did you know with Canva, you can embed external media to your Canva designs, such as a YouTube video and even a form. Here's an example. I created a mobile site in Canva, which by the way, I'll link up in the description box below if you wanna learn how to make your own mobile website in Canva. On the top navigation menu, website visitors can click on contact and then contact us. They can click on contact, then go and select a department, enter the name, enter their email address and type away. Now here's how to enable embeds in Canva. Head over to more, scroll down and you'll see embeds. Otherwise you can simply do a quick search and click it once. To add a type form, for instance, like the example I just shared with you, head over to type form and sign up for a free account. Create a type form, add your questions, click on share, copy the link that's provided, head back to your design, go to embeds, where you see paste web link, paste it right there. Click on add to design and here's the form. Simply resize it and now it's ready for website visitors to use. Next up in Canva, what you can do is copy elements from one design to another by simply doing a quick copy and paste. Let's say you've got this design, which is on a completely separate design. I want to copy this specific element. Just click once, right click, copy, or on your keyboard, use a shortcut. Now I'm going to head over and open up a brand new design in Canva and paste it in. 
So whatever you're doing in one design, you can always copy and paste it to another quickly and easily as you saw. This next tip is going to be a real time saver. Let's say you've got this text, you've selected a specific font, you've chosen a size for it and stylize it, even adding effects to it. Now, the last thing you wanna do is do this all over again whenever you add a new text. So I've got this new text right here and you don't wanna to have to do it all over again by selecting the font, selecting the size and the styling again. An easy way to simply copy the style is to click on the text and then there's this option called copy style. Click that once. Then with your new text, simply click once and there you have it. This feature only works if you're doing text to text or let's say a shape and another shape. For instance, we've got this shape here. Let's copy the style. And here we've got a circle. Click that once and there you have it. All right, this next tip is going to be really handy if you wanna align your text elements and any other objects on your design. Take this for example. You've got a text block, you've got images right here. If you go to file, click on show rulers and guides, now you can see a vertical ruler and a horizontal ruler. From here, you can drag from the ruler to create a guide. So we've got a horizontal guide here. You can also add a vertical guide like so. And let's add a couple more guides so that we know where to align our images. Now that we've got our guides, what I can do is start aligning. And this is where I want to align and start our images from this point right here. And the other side is right here. So this is where I want to make sure everything is aligned. To disable the rulers and guides, simply go back to file, click on show rulers and guides, and this is the end product. Moving on, what you can do with Canva is make videos such as social media posts. You can even edit your videos right inside Canva. In this example, I've got a clip of me and then I've got another random video clip that I found in the video section and this slide where we've got huge sale, 50% off. I'll play back this example so you can see what it looks like. To start creating and editing your videos in Canva, simply head to Uploads and then Upload Your Media. It should be inside the Videos tab, as you can see with all my video uploads. Click once to add your video, resize it so that it fills your canvas like so. If you wanna cut your video, let's say you made a mistake, you can simply select that point and then make a split. So right click and then click on Split Page or simply hit the S button on your keyboard. That'll split it and then cut that bit out. So using your mouse, you can drag, and now that mistake is gone. Adding a transition is really easy. In between the clips, click on the add transition option. Then you're given a number of transition effects. Let's say you wanna use this slide effect. Simply click that once and now it's added. I'll play it back. To achieve this effect right here, quite simple. Head over to text, add any of the headings as you wish, or you can add your own. I'll click on this, add a background right here. I've got this 50% off badge. And to animate your page, simply click on animate and then selecting any of the animations like so. You got rise, you got pan, fade, breathe, stop, and much more. And once you're done with your video, click on share, click on download, and then download it as an MP4 video. Now to take your productivity to the next level in Canva, make sure you learn these Canva keyboard shortcuts. I'll provide a link to this exact infograph so that you can learn what these all are. For example, you've got moving elements, moving elements one pixel at a time and moving elements 10 pixels at a time by holding shift. So let's try that out. We've got this element and using the arrows, as you know, we've got one pixel at a time. I'm just using the right, left keys, not noticeable, but let's now hold the shift key and now I'm moving it 10 pixels at a time. So again, learn these Canva shortcuts because it's going to save you a heap of time. Now, if you wanna learn more useful Canva tips and tricks, do stick around to watch these videos next. In the meantime, do give this video a quick thumbs up and looking forward to seeing you in the next video.